What's up, people? This is your boy, the psychopath, Nepic Cage. And this is Madden 2016, week two of my journey to relocate the Cleveland Browns. I hope you enjoy. I might not be talking too much during this, but my goal, I'm hoping by this, I should know by next season, preseason where I can relocate. I like to move these generic version uh, Browns, hopefully to Utah. Maybe something will come open there. But who knows. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got a couple of big targets who will try to be key contributors in both the pass and run games today. It's the Browns going up against the Titans. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Bill Sims. Week two back. It's the NFL on EA Sports. A week two matchup on tap here as we join you from First Energy Stadium. Hello, friends, and welcome to the NFL. Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, Jim, let's start this way. The old cliche we hear all the time, let the game come to you. Hey, that might have been good 20 years ago, but not anymore. Now you got to go out there and take it. Which team is willing to take some chances to win this game today? That's the one that's going to win. Please set now for the opening kickoff. The Titans are back deep, waiting to return the kick. We're underway here. Wright's got it on the return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard. Here we go, people. You get to see this awesome defense I made. Zach Cleveland Brown's going to kick some ass right here. Quarterback drafted in the sixth round out of LSU by the Titans and proved his rookie year that he could actually lead a team in this league. Yes, he did, Jim. In 2014, the sixth round draft pick, that is a steal because he has an arm that's just a highlight maker. He showed that to the Tennessee Titans. We'll see if he can take advantage of that and get enough opportunities to get it done. First down at the 22. Takes it out of the eye. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down and 11. Sankey, ball is out. Oh, they pop up the football, and the defense takes possession. Tackles made. Well, Jim, we know this quarterback. He could wait for this game. Oh, boys are kicking ass already. And taking names. Because I'm here to kick ass, chew bum gum, and I'm all out of bum gum. Browns now inside the 20 a week ago they converted time and time again inside the red zone Get ready. Ready. Hand off. picked up a couple that time now that we've got a moment let's look at the Browns offense this is an efficient group last week turning the football over just once They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. The Browns come out. Jumbo package on the field. Intercepted! Mm -hmm. 
What a tough start for the quarterback. An early interception. Oh, the worst thing you can do as a quarterback, but I'm giving the defense here a lot of credit. They diagnosed the play. They took advantage of the quarterback, and they got the interception. The Titans had their last drive in with them coughing up the football. And before coming out for this possession, I'm sure there were a few words exchanged on the sideline just to remind these guys you can't do that again. Oh, absolutely. Look, there's a lot of things you can put up as an offense in the NFL. You can put up penalties. You can even understand interceptions because so many variables go into that interception. But fumbling the football, that is the worst one of all. Let's see if they can keep a tight grip on it as this drive gets started. And a real tough spot here on second down. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Second and 12. Sankey has got on the handoff. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. The Titans come to the line. The first down marker is at the 16. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us the fourth down. The Titans know what a situation they were in right there. It was a tough third and long. What are they going to do? Well, they well, decide to put the ball, and I agree with that. You can try, try to throw it down the field. It probably was going to lead to a mistake. mistake. This punt will be returned. Boys don't know what they're getting into. This next play comes from the thirty. Second down and five. Will go draw. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Third and two here after the run. We're back here 
getting ready for the second quarter. Bill, that was a defensive tug of war. The first quarter. It sure was. And it was a tug of war. And it was war. That's what it looked like. I, 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 I want to give the defense some credit. I thought they did well, well, but really the offenses just poor play selection, poor execution, and you've got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side. Coming up to the line at 14. The Browns line up, split backfield. And the second quarter is underway. Almost intercepted. He gets tight down here in the red zone. So here in the defender, you leave the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, you can knock it down.
That returns good for about 22. Browns love this type of play. Of course, everybody, boy, when you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt return back again. And a little bit of a surprising score right now is this, this offense. Such a quarterback-driven unit hasn't got very much out of the lead up to this point. Yeah, but it's a surprise. And the fact that the Willie, okay, that's great. That tells you how the other parts of the team are playing. But the quarterback's got to pick it up. If he does, they can win this game. What, what do you think, think the deal, deal is? Is he hurt? He just doesn't, doesn't look like himself. Yeah, he, he just didn't get a good night's sleep, so he's tired, he's lazy. Makes the catch in the open field. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver, and why not? He's talented, and every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch.
the point after is good. The Titans are ready to take it to him. The, the Titans, Titans offense trots out onto the, the field, field looking to get into the end zone, zone and see if they can turn the tide into this one. Well, well, the, the fact, fact that they lose this, this game so far is such a burden to see if it's there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays that play, but I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of a couple that time. Lined up, two tight ends set. Walker makes the grab. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Well, if you're down a couple scores in the second half, you're just looking for some positives and trying to get some momentum on your side. So that first down by the offense, maybe that'll give them some confidence, and we'll see where they go with it from here. Burgers, three for three with that completion. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that low-scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and all that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often, and what it does, it puts lights on the defense. Yeah, they really have stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and all that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often, and what it does, it puts lights on the players, and especially coaches, to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Yankees never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, nowhere to go. That's a good game. The Titans have to get to the 41 for a first. Mettenberger standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And incomplete, he was looking for Walker. The Titans really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. Time. 
Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets the position down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. Third and four. Begin out of the yard. Inside the red zone, and it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. So, first and goal to go. And it's a game of maybe five. Well, that last play almost got him in here. You look at this. What do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top of the touchdown. Second and goal. And that's a rack pole on the stop. Goal line defense on the field. Third and goal at the two. Another carry here. A rack pole. It's the one who made the big stop. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You fail on third and goal. What do you do? You go for it. I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points.
Browns come out in a jumbo set. First down at the 17. Huffs all over that offense and brings him down. The Titans use another timeout here, and they have one left. This is next snap will take place at the 19. Touchdown, just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big, not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The Browns for the point after. to kick it away. Right, got it. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Titans offensively have struggled throughout. It shows up in the stats, and most importantly, up there on the scoreboard. Yeah, they did pay. I'm not going to deny that. Give a lot of credit to the defense. The defense has been aggressive. They've been attacking. And they just took advantage of this offense here today. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use the timeout here. Matt Berger's going to take it on the gun. It's Douglas. Mark him down for another reception. They'll go hurry up now. We won't use the timeout. Here's the football resting at the 43. Second and 10. Reaches out and grabs it. Football swung behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Let's go. The Titans will take the snap from the 45. Launching it deep. Pass is intercepted. What a horrible time to throw the interception. But hats off to the defense here, Phil. They come up with the stop. The play, the takeaway at just the right time. Yeah, listen, I, I give the defense all the credit in a situation like this. They, you know, they took advantage of a quarterback who they knew was going to have to take a chance, and they were ready to pounce on. He's now got 70 plus yards on the ground. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. You just run the football. Don't try to be some genius who catches the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just, just get, get this game over. The Browns will take the snap from the 25. Able to take the football out to the 28 yard line. I guess you'd say it's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, you can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go. So only gets a couple yards this time. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over. You feel good.
for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.